Hello all, so in this video we will discuss DFT as linear transformation. So in this video we will form matrix formulation. So the very first point is that the DFT and IDFT can be viewed as a linear transformation on sequence Xn and Xk respectively. So how to justify this statement? So we will do lots of mathematical, mathematical calculations and at the end we will get this justification. So let's start. So for this consider an endpoint DFT of length n in sequence xn and so its DFT is being calculated by this formula here this wn is the twiddle factor so this is the general formula for DFT now let n equals to 4 for simplicity at the end we will generalize also but let's say n equals to 4 so x of k can be written as n equals 0 to 3 x of n w 4 raised to kn and this k will range now from 0 to 3. So substituting values of n we will get x of 0 plus x of 1 w4 raised to k x of 2 w4 2k x of 3 w4 3k clear now this for k equals to 0 we get x of 0 is x of 0 plus x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3 and similarly for k equals to 1 what we will get for k equals to 1 x of 0 plus x of 1 w4 raised to 1 plus x of 2 w4 raised to 2 plus x of 3 w4 raised to 3 similarly for k equals to 2 what we will get x of 0 plus x of 1 w4 raised to 2 plus x of 2 w4 raised to 4 plus x of 3 w4 raised to 6 and similarly for k equals to 3 we will get x of 0 plus x of 1 w4 raised to 3 plus x of 2 w4 raised to 6 plus x of 3 w4 raised to 9 so all these equations this four set of equations can be written in matrix form as in matrix form as follows that is x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 and x of 3 this is one matrix is given as 1 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 okay this coefficients that is w4 raised to 1 w4 raised to 2 w4 raised to 3 then this coefficients w4 raised to 2 4 and 6 and then this coefficients w4 raised to 3 w4 raised to 6 and w4 raised to 9 just remember is like this that this is 1 2 3 then table of 2 2 4 6 then table of 3 3 6 9 this is table of 1, table of 2 and table of 3. So remember it like this. Now what we can write from this. From this we can write that x. Let me change the color. That this x. This is being written in bold. Which is representing matrix. Is equal to this w4. I am just bolding it. So that it can represent matrix so all this represents matrix this is the bolder version so therefore what we can say this is for four point dft so for general case for n point dft what we can write we can write it as x equals to w n into x all these are in bold so that we can differentiate that they are matrices so these are x equals to w n into x there and just we have written in the matrix form so where what is this x this x is x of 0 1 2 3 up to so on up till x of n minus 1 similarly what this small x small x is x of 0 x of 1 same as up till x minus 1 and what is w n 
I am just writing WN. This matrix is nothing but 1, 1, 1, so on till 1. Similarly, so on up till 1. Then this is WN raised to 1, WN raised to 2, WN raised to 3, and so on up to WN raised to N minus 1. Similarly, this is WN raised to 2, WN raised to 4, WN raised to 6, and so on up to WN raised to twice of N minus 1. Clear? And if we will extend this like this, then here WN raised to N minus 1, here WN raised to twice N minus 1. So what we will get here? Here will be WN raised to N minus 1, N minus 1. Because this n minus 1 will continue and this will come n minus 1, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this is n minus 1, n minus 1. So what we can say, this is also one matrix and this matrix is n cross n matrix. Clear? Now for IDFT, we have this. For IDFT, what we can write? We can write x as wn inverse into x from this equation. x just multiply both the sides by wn inverse. So what we will get provided wn inverse exists. So what we will get x equals to this. So first of all before moving ahead let's say this is our equation 1. Clear? Now what is this wn inverse? Wn inverse is nothing but 1 by n times this 1 1 1 and so on and this 1 1 over here we will get Wn raised to minus 1 Wn raised to minus 2 Wn raised to minus n minus 1 similarly Wn raised to 2 this is below this one wn raised to 4 sorry minus 2 minus 4 and so on up to wn raised to minus 2 of n minus 1 everywhere we are just replacing power by minus sign so similarly for this so we will write this as wn raised to minus of n minus 1 wn raised to minus twice of n minus 1 and so on up till wn raised to minus of n minus 1 n minus 1 and this is our matrix clear and let's say this is our equation number 2 if we will solve for this uh, inverse dft by this formulation this same thing we will get this matrix we are not getting from directly from this this equation but i have just shown you that wn inverse you will get like this only by solving same as in previous page okay like this here we have started with the formula of uh, dft so if you will proceed through idft from this then you will end up getting this equation that is this one this is also matrix only so we can write as in bold also bold represent matrix nothing else so from both these equations that is equation number one and equation number two what we can say any relation we can establish let's see yes we can say that wn inverse times n that is multiplying this n this side what we get we get wn conjugate see over here everything is being replaced by minus sign over here in this matrix we can say this is wn conjugate or we can say that multiplying both the sides by wn we can say wn into wn star is nothing but n into in where in is what identity matrix of n cross n so any conclusion from matrix algebra we can say from for wn this implies that wn is orthogonal matrix 
or we can say unitary. Clear? So, this conclusion we will draw, we will use this conclusion in properties of Tweedle factor and after that we will derive a matrix formulation for calculation of DFT because the conventional method is very much lengthy because we have to calculate first for different values of n and then we have to calculate different values of for different values of k so it becomes quite a bit lengthy and so for that purpose we will develop one mathematical formulation that is matrix formulation by using this conclusion only so this will be done in next lecture